Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with Snacks Around the World. Today's Snacks Around the World doing a little bit of a redo. You see, I got educated on Vegemite and apparently I used way too much the first time I tried it. If I can find the other video, I will link it above or something. Right now, all I'm doing is I have some toast, I have some butter on it, and I'm putting butter and I'm smearing it in. And uh, then we will try to put a little bit of a Vegemite on it, but just a little. We shall see, we shall see. <laughs> it was just a little stout last time, and, and I agree, I was probably using way, way too much. And also, I did not know about putting it on buttered toast. I didn't know about that angle. So, I have my nicely buttered toast. I've also got um, some apple butter for my other piece of toast, because I have two pieces of toast here. So, if you're not familiar with apple butter, where in the world have you been? Um, I don't know where this originates. I suppose I can go look it up. But basically, it is apples cooked down. There's no butter involved. It's just apples, sugar, and some spices. In this case, in this jarred one, it is cinnamon and cloves. And I absolutely adore it. But yes, I will have a piece of toast with that. Um, and a piece of toast with some of this. Vegemite. It's from Australia. Yes, this jar has already been opened. No, I did not eat all of that. You see how far down that is. Uh, my friend decided that he really liked it. So he was like, oh, wow, give me some of that. I'm like, dude, you do you, boo. Okay. So let us get out a tiny bit this time. I better on my finger. Wow. Even the scent is super strong. Okay. I'll smear it on, then I'll show it to you. So just a little mixed with that butter. I could see where the butter would really mellow it out some. Because, yeah, I had it really, really like super hefty up in there before. Okay. You can see it is just a schmear mixed in. I'm going to close the jar because I know that I'm not going to want any more of it. And I don't want to drop it or drop something into it. Also, I want to fix my other piece of toast. Oh, I wish you could smell this. Yes, this is out of my fridge. Yes, it's been used before. This is not a first taste of anything by any means. Love me some apple butter. It looks kind of weird. It looks like, well, is that molasses? No, it's apples and sugar and spice. And that is it. And you can actually make your own without a whole lot of trouble. But it just takes a bunch of apples to do it. You can do it in a slow cooker. I mean, it's really is pretty easy. Okay. Yeah, I was a little much on my spoon. Mm. Gosh, that's good. I'm also going to close that one up because, you know, same thing. Drop it, drop stuff in it. That would all be bad. Okay. First, we try the Vegemite. Vegemite on buttered toast. A lot less of a harsh smell than last time. That's not bad. Okay. I kind of like that. It's not harsh on the palate. It doesn't have an overbearing taste when it's mixed up like this. So that is really awesome. Let me see what it actually says a serving size is on here. It says a portion is five grams. And this has 220 grams in it. So yeah, a portion is going to be very light like this. Hmm. I kind of dig it. It's savory and salty. But it's not overbearing. Now I understand what the hype is about. Why so many people like Vegemite on toast with butter. 
Mm. Not bad. Not bad at all. I would have that. If I'm, because sometimes you're just wanting toast. If I'm wanting toast, but not really wanting something sweet on it, that's what I would go to. For the sweet, though. Mm. There's nothing like apple butter. Mm. Out of the two, the apple butter is definitely tastier. Let's be real. It's it's sweet and it has um, the spices in it, the cinnamon, the clove. You can also add other spices to it if you make your own. And on the jar it says, doesn't have to just be for toast or muffins. You can also mix it into your oatmeal and stuff, which I think would be awesome if you really like apple and spices. Mm. Okay, they're both fat chick approved. Yeah, the the Vegemite along with the uh, the butter on the toast. Yes, fat chick approved. I would eat that for breakfast. I really would. Um, but my favorite out of the two has got to be the apple butter, just because apple butter is delightful even on its own. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, I can lick my fingers. I am at my own dining room table. <laughs> Now, something else to try. We have seen Pocky before. Uh, Pocky is generally considered to be a Japanese snack, but this is made in Thailand. Usually has some fan there's a fancy opening. This one is matcha green tea cream covered biscuit sticks. So basically it's little cookies with matcha green tea cream. And yes, they will have another package on the inside because they're all about keeping their stuff fresh and keeping it Deborah proof. No, no hand here today. He's napping. Okay. Smells very sweet. It's very green. That's the matcha. Pocky comes in so many different flavors. Um, some of them they just do for a limited time. I have seen this one all over the place. I think I actually picked this up at Pop Shelf, maybe. No, not Pop Shelf. I'm a dork. Five Below. I picked this up at Five Below. And it does taste a very sweet matcha green tea. You get the nice crunch of the cookie, the biscuit, whatever underneath. It's very, very nice. If you've always wanted to try matcha and didn't know what it was, try it in this format. Why not? At least you get something crunchy out of it. You get a taste of what, it's not like drinking a glass of matcha tea, absolutely, but you do get that matcha green tea flavor in it. Mm. All right. Japan slash Thailand, where the box was made. Um, Australia, again, revisited, and it has redeemed itself now that I know how to eat it. And I would say the America, but I honestly don't know where apple butter comes from. I mean, this came from America, from an American company, but do you know where it has its origins? If you do, let me know down in the comments below because I'd love to know and I'm too lazy to look it up myself. <laughs> if you get a chance to try something new or try something again that maybe could be improved by actually knowing how it's supposed to be eaten, give it a shot. Don't just say no. Don't just turn your nose up at it. Try new things. You know, it's a big world out there that is made a whole lot smaller by being able to reach around the world via the internet and being able to try snacks from some other place is kind of a good way to get to know another culture, at least just a little tiny bit of it. 
because everybody eats. We might as well enjoy it, right? Thank y'all. See you very soon. Bye now.